Good morning and happy Croctober day three. Y'all go get light yourself a candle. I'm so excited. I love the little white pumpkins. Today we are making something I have to confess. I've never made this recipe before. I was sitting there looking at it this morning and I was like, I don't know about this one. So if by any chance you've already made it, I would love to know that. Also, don't forget, if you hit the share this, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. And did anybody remember the giveaway that we're giving away this week? You guys, someone who has already purchased or who purchases this week a slow cooker volume one or volume two box, three people are going to win this happy crock pot. But you must, the only way to enter to win is to be someone who's already purchased either slow cooker volume one or slow cooker volume two boxes, which is what we are cooking from today. We are making the healthy, healthy pizza quinoa bowls. And I learned something today about quinoa that I did not know before. So tell me if y'all have cooked with quinoa before. Has anybody made this one? As you're hopping on, tell me good morning. Tell me what you are making for dinner tonight. Good morning, Bridget. Hey, Roxanne. Hey, Denise. Good morning, Heather. Hey, B Gentry. I'm so glad you're here this morning. If you're new, also say good morning. I would love to say hello to you. I am tickled y'all are here. I'm excited and I have a confession about what happened about my dinner. I don't even want to tell y'all. I will tell you at the end what happened last night when I can look at the comments. But let's go ahead and start with this recipe. Um, actually, this is probably not gonna be the best view. Well, let's start here and then we'll move from there. So I have, uh, let me give you guys the directions. I've got one half pound of tur Italian turkey sausage links with casings removed and I've gone ahead and sauteed those in a little bit of olive oil. Remember, I'm using this awesome crock pot, which is kind of handy for certain things. It is super handy today for this recipe. Then I'm gonna add in one small red onion, which has already been sliced. Mine is diced, but we'll take that. Um, I'm gonna add in one and a half cups of fresh mushrooms. And I'm gonna add in two cups, oops, hang on. Let's go ahead and add all those mushrooms in. I'm gonna add two cups of chicken broth. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is the quinoa. So how many of y'all knew this about quinoa? I did not know this. I'm gonna move your camera over here so you can kind of see what I'm about to do. Can y'all see the sink? So with quinoa, I read the directions on the recipe. It says, make sure you rinse your quinoa ahead of time. I had no idea you're supposed to rinse that. And the problem is it is so fine. Like, hang on, let me show you. I've not worked with a whole lot of quinoa, but it is really, really fine. So to rinse it, I was Googling. I was like, what do I do to rinse this stuff? Because it is tiny. The trick to rinsing it, if you don't have a skinny strainer, I don't have a strainer that small, is I'm just going to put it into this. I'm just going to rinse it in here. Add a little bit of water, that's probably too small. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm just gonna like by hand make sure, you can see all the water. The, when I Googled it, apparently you truly do have to rinse it. I mean, you don't have, I don't think you're gonna die if you don't rinse it, but it said sometimes there's a powdery film that can be bittery, so like have a bitter taste. So I've rinsed my quinoa. I'm gonna try to just get most of the water out. You know what, I'm just gonna do it this way. It's already got, the chicken broth calls for some water. So I'm assuming, I wish, I guess that's rinsed enough. Does anybody know anything about quinoa? And how much do you rinse yours? I'm gonna make sure it's gotten down to the bottom. I literally was Googling. As I started this live video, I was like, well, do you have to rinse it? What are the rules? Do I have, like, cause you know, like with beans, you rinse them mostly cause you don't wanna have like, like because it can help. Let's just say it can help your stomach afterwards. I'm gonna rinse this one more time just to make sure I got the bottom. Actually, I feel like I got the top. Then I'm going to read your directions and y'all are going to give me all the things. It does feel like the water got down to the bottom. Okay. That, you need a little more room than I just had. Y'all, I'll do this for you guys so that you guys can do this correctly and we'll be stuck with a bitter taste over here. Let me see your directions. Can you send you a link on the crock pot that you use? Yes. We will have a link in the comments for those in our favorite crock pot recipes. Okay, I'm going to rinse off the rest of these. I'm losing a little bit of the quinoa, but I'm okay with that. I mean, it's not much. Okay, those are in. So we're gonna add all of that to our crock pot. This is one of your favorite. Okay, who just said that? Julianne just said this is one of her favorite recipes. Julianne, I am intimidated by this one because this is not one that I would ever, ever, if I'm being 100% honest, this is a recipe that if I saw on all recipes, I would skip over real fast. But sometimes when Shree is writing the menu plans, She's like, Laurie, just trust me on this. It's amazing. So she, I trust the woman because every single thing I ever make from our recipe boxes are amazing. So I'm good. I'm hopeful it's good, but we'll see. Um, you're used to go second, 
uh, oh, I didn't see your question. Hang on about the quinoa. I'm hoping I did this right, y'all. Give me some direction if y'all use quinoa a bunch and you know the rules, because I don't know the quinoa rules. Apparently, I don't use it all that often. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cook this in my slow cooker on low for, how long? Five hours. So I'm gonna cook this on low for five hours, and then at the end of five hours, I will start in two cups of pizza sauce, some green pepper, some turkey pepperoni, and I'm gonna let that cook for another hour so it'll get really good and yummy. And then after that, I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese and some Parmesan cheese. So I, I can't wait to try it out tonight. Let's see how healthy it is for us. The nice thing about these recipe cards, if you don't have them already, is they tell the calories. 332 calories per serving, serve six. You can serve it with regular pizza toppings. So I love a good pizza. So I'm really curious if this will taste like that. Okay, let me tell y'all about our menu plans and everything else. Let me say hi to everybody and ask, answer any Crocktober questions y'all might have. Yes, Crockpot link, please. Um, good morning, Danny. So glad to see you this morning. Hey, happy mama. When will the aprons be ready for us to buy? We are hoping, oh y'all, my camera is bad. Sorry, Facebook. Um, I can't look at two cameras at once and figure it out. We're hoping that the aprons will be here before the end of the year. So no guarantees on that, y'all. Put in a fine, I don't have, okay, Edie. Edie, I don't have a fine mesh strainer. So what's my option if I don't have a fine mesh strainer? Okay, let me tell you what I did with Crocktober. So let me give y'all my spiel super fast. This week, if you order before Friday, we are gonna pick three people to win one of my favorite Crockpots. The menu planning boxes are normally $46. They are $36 right now. They include 12 weeks of grocery lists and menu plans. You will make the best food ever. But let me tell you what happened last night. Does anybody know what we were supposed to be making last night for Crocktober Day 2? I put it in the crock pot. Y'all may have watched. My friend Ashley made it on Facebook. I made it on Instagram. Does anybody know what we were making yesterday? <sighs> we were making... I'm so sad. Y'all, I'm still in mourning over what happened. We're making... All the recipes are from week 5. We were making the chicken nochi, chicken noki soup, and I made it in the morning, and I took my daughter on a two-hour, we drove two hours to go to a college visit. My husband came home early in the afternoon. The crock pot was on. I had set the timer. I had done everything correctly. The crock pot probably ended at three. He was home at like four, so it would have been fine. I didn't think, because we were so busy, to call ahead and say, hey, hun, maybe go ahead and like turn off that crock pot or do something with it. He didn't do anything. We didn't get home. We got stuck in traffic. Didn't get home till 6.30. By then my meat had stuck in the crock pot for like five hours on no cooking. And I don't mind. I'm not like super germaphobed about chicken, but four hours in the crock pot, I was like, that's too long. So we didn't have any soup. We ate peanut butter last night. And the thing is that one was recipe. I was like, it was like in my wheelhouse of what I wanted to make. So I was super sad. Anyways, let me know. Oh, was it? <laughs> Sandy made the soup and it was delicious. Sandy, I'm so jealous. What do you need to rinse? Jenny Friedman, you need to rinse your quinoa. Rinse your quinoa real fastly. Um, Crystal, it just sat in the crock pot all day, like for four hours. And I was like, it's chicken that hasn't been cooked for four hours by then. And then by then it was 6.30. It was like 6.45. We were all tired. I was a little grumpy. Anybody else come home a little grumpy? That's who I was. The quinoa recipe, Lori. So if you need these recipes, they are from the Slow Cooker Volume 2 box, weeks five through eight. Lots of folks have asked which are the best box. These are slightly, these are a little healthier. So if you're looking for a healthier option um, for Slow Cooker recipes, they have fewer processed ingredients. They're really, really good for you. You're gonna love these ones for sure. Um, good morning, Melissa. Hey, Christine made homemade chicken soup last night. Was it so good? I, I, I really wanted, like of all the meals we were making this week, I was most excited about that soup last night. So I think I may make it, I think I have the ingredients to make it again possibly this weekend. But I threw away like a pound and a half of chicken. I was so sad. Anyways, um, get, hey Jenny, you can't imagine you're grumpy. Oh, be gentry. I asked my family or my close friends and they have seen me probably a little on the grouchy side. I definitely get grouchy for sure. We all show up our best on Facebook or Instagram Live. Does the soup from yesterday taste like the Olive Garden one? No, Linda Wosley, if you want the Olive Garden one, try the chicken minestrone. I believe that one might be in, that one might be in Slow Cooker Volume 1, but that chicken minestrone is divine. You should definitely try that one else. Good morning, Amber. Hey, Ellen in um, Montana. So glad to see you this morning. Okay, you guys, if you're interested in these, try them out. Don't forget, she hit the share this button to enter to win a $25 Amazon gift card. What is the recipe box? Cindy, are you new here? Cindy Calvin. Um, 
The cro name of the crock pot that sautés is the all clad crock pot. And Cindy, I'm going to tell you really fast. So we have, we make these, I, this is for anybody who's never seen me before. If you've watched this, you've heard my spiel before, you know, all the, all the things back in 2009, I started blogging. I've been blogging online for eternity. Basically. Um, I'm no granny in the influencer space. I hate the word influencer, but I'm like, I guess my, my friend said to me once, she was like, you do actually influence people. So anyway, so I've been influencing, I suppose, for a while. Um, but in 2009, we started, I started Passionate Penny Pincher, blogged for 10 years there. I still blog there. Actually, my team mostly blogs there. I get to kind of cheer them all, but they do most of the blogging over there. Um, and maybe 2018 or 19, I had tried a lot of other menu planning sites and I was frustrated by the experience in the morning. You know, when you look for recipes, y'all tell me if you've been here, you look for recipes on Pinterest, you sit there and you spend hours on Pinterest looking for recipes. You spend hours on all recipes. You write down all the recipes or you sign up for a great menu planning service. Y'all, there are really good menu planning services out there. Like you do not need to use ours. There are lots of ones that have already figured out. My problem was I am a very busy working mom. I've got three kids, especially five years ago. My three kids were in middle school and high school and then elementary, middle and high school. So you can imagine I had three kids, three schools, ran a very, probably I worked 60 to 70 hours a week, ran a really full-time business. And every morning I would get up to make dinner. I worked planned dinner, even just prep dinner. I had to go and find my PDF files, download them, print them, find the recipes, all the things. And so I walked through Barnes and Noble one day and I said, um, I saw some beautiful recipe tins and I was like, wouldn't it? And they look like kind of like this. Um, and I thought, wouldn't it be amazing? And I started with slow cooker was our first one. Slow cooker volume one, the yellow box that y'all get some of y'all, does anybody have the gray box? Some of y'all have the yellow or the gray box. I was like, wouldn't it be amazing if somebody literally just came and printed the cards for me and I didn't have to do anything. And I was like, if I could just pick up that beautiful recipe box and it had all of my groceries and recipes and menu plans for me and I didn't have to do anything, wouldn't that be amazing? Well, as it turned out, my friend Shree and I had already written the slow cooker crock, we had written the crock pot, the first Crocktober book. So it was like a free PDF download. But so many people said, Laurie, I don't have a printer. It doesn't work for me. I wish I could just buy it from you and it'd be printed. And I was like, we could do this for people. We could totally do this. And the backstory behind that for anybody, does anybody really want to hear the full story? I'm going to go ahead and tell you all my story today because here we are. So I grew up in a home where my mom was a single working mom with um, four kids. My grandmother lived with us. Uh, she had some harder personal things that happened over the years and she worked probably as many hours as I did out of the home. I'm lucky to get to work from home. She worked out of the home. Um, she worked probably 60 to 70 hours a week as a secretary for the government. Um, she didn't go to didn't go to high school, didn't, I don't, she didn't graduate from high school. She got her GRE and worked her whole life. She worked. Um, and like I said, four kids, grandmother lived with us, um, crazy life. And so basically every night she just couldn't figure out dinner. And so she would drive us through on a strip in Clearwater, Florida. If y'all remember anybody from Clearwater, Florida, there was a strip of you probably driven down to the beach. If you've ever been in Clearwater, there was a strip right there. And we would drive up and down the beach, that road, um, Gulf to Bay. Anybody know Gulf to Bay in Clearwater? And we would just hit every single restaurant. So we would hit McDonald's, Grandy's, Checkers back then, Arby's. And this was like in, I'm not gonna tell you how, well, y'all know how old I am. Anyways, this was like in 19, I guess early night, late eighties, early nineties. My stepdad passed away when I was 11. Um, she just had a rough, she had a lot of yucky things happen. She had a unfair, unfair advantages, disadvantages, and she just couldn't do this. Like this was not even in her wheelhouse. And so not only was she, then she was totally broke all the time, never had enough money. money. I just remember going to the bank and it was awful. Like she, there was never any money and she was spending too much because nobody told her how to do this. So as an adult, I was determined to take care of making food for our family so that we would not be eating out every single night. So it is one of those things that like personally, there was a lot of hard, hard days um, as a kid that went to through that came to this. And so it sounds crazy when I'm so passionate about it that I like when I see you guys win at dinner, when I see one mom say I made dinner tonight, it is hard, especially if you're a single mama, it is so easy to just say, you know what, peanut butter again, DoorDash again checkers again, rallies again, Chick-fil-A again. That is the temptation of the world. That is the world I grew up in, probably in a season when a lot of y'all didn't grow up in that. Um, she worked really, really hard and it was the best she could do. 
I want to make it easier so that moms like her don't have to do that, that you don't have to choose. And I think culturally now, a lot more of us are working full time. And so if I can make it so that for you, dinner is easier, then um, I think I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And there are days, this last few weeks and months have been a rough year for me as a business owner, just where I'm like, Lord, what am I doing? And then I keep coming back. I'm like, do I, you know, do I even need to be here? Am I doing the right thing? Just like any of us. I think we all have that struggle, I think. Um, as my kids are getting older, like how do I cook for people and tell people to make dinner? And I'm getting older, like does anybody wanna watch an old lady on Facebook or Instagram Live make dinner? And then I'm like, you know what, if it helps, even if it becomes, hopefully it will always be profitable. I hope we always make money, because otherwise I don't know what I'll do. But at the end of the day, I'm like, Lord, if it helps a few moms make dinner because they saw me throw some quinoa in the crock pot this morning, then my mission is done, whether it's profitable. I, I need it to be profitable so I can pay my team. So y'all buy some menu plans from us. Anyways, no, seriously. Um, I also love that we get to make aprons that you guys love. And I feel like there aren't many companies, I don't know, this is totally selfish. And like I said, I'm probably gonna delete this video when we're done. I will probably delete this video. Um, but there aren't many companies who give you, I hope, products that when you get them, you feel like you are so loved and valued. And I just want you to know from my heart, like on this end of the screen, I am thinking of you through every purchase. When I look at the cards, I'm obsessed. When I'm already like looking at the apron and I'm like, oh my gosh, we didn't do this right on the apron. I was sitting there this morning thinking, these aprons are gonna come out and they're not perfect. Like there's a thing on the neck, the ribbon. I like the ribbon because I had an old one like this and so I made the ribbon and this morning I was like, that's gonna bother them. They're gonna sit there and be bothered. And how? what if this mom gets this apron and she's not happy because I didn't get the perfect apron? Like my heart is truly in our products. It still is me over here at the end of the day. Like I'm the one who, like the team makes everything, they design everything, they write everything, but I'm the one at the end of the morning who says, yes, that's the product or no, it's not. And I am passionate about you guys winning. And I, and my team also is passionate. Like they know how crazy I am. So I just hope, I don't think there are a million companies out there that get the opportunity to make things for people that truly bless their lives. And I hope that, that we get to do that, something like that for you. Okay, anyways, um, you've loved the lives and good morning, Courtney. She says she loved the lives and it loves how encouraging we are. Thank you so much. Miria says she saves money using your meal plans because you know exactly what you need to buy. Less wondering and impulse buying. I love hearing that, Maria. Um, Christy says you love the apron. It reminds me of your grandma and spending time in the kitchen cooking. The one thing I'm wondering, like I said, there's a big, I wanted, so there's so many things when you make an apron, like we wanted this, these ties to be a little bit chunkier, but the problem I didn't think about is because, because I don't like stuff that feels skinny. Like I like stuff that feels hearty. I want you to get stuff and be like, oh, that feels really good when I get it. But when I got this, it's like, hang on, let me. Um, because it is thicker, it's kind of thick around your neck. But I also, my problem is like, we're all different sizes. So like, I need to pull this up because I'm a little bit longer waisted. So anyways, it's a thing, it's a thing. Somebody just said you replaced your necktie apron because of the degenerative issues in your neck. What with the shoulder arm? I think we may like, I love this one. We may eventually try something different, but for right now, this is what we're doing. You love your company and your products have helped you tremendously. Keep doing videos and putting your personal touch. I'm so glad that means so much to me. You like the tie at the top, you're short and the tie always is too big for you. I love that. KY Phylon says, I think finding you and your products a year ago was a lifesaver and you feel your passion. Guys, I hope you truly do know, like, I have thought so often, especially like I said, as my kids are getting bigger, like is this, does anybody really need me to be doing this? Like, is this something that's worth it? And then I'm like, I really do obsess over you. Like, and my company in general, our whole team like obsesses over, is this the best deal for the reader? Like when we're working on Amazon Prime Day, the deal team is working on that. They are sitting there and looking at every deal and saying, is this the best price it's been in five years? Are we truly giving you guys great value? And I don't know why, I just, I, the more I'm around businesses and companies, I think so many people don't mean to take advantage of people, but they do. So just know that our heart is still right now, right here, and I hope that it is forever as long as we're able to do it. Please consider making a six-month planner so it's skinnier, more portable, and travels easy. Good tip. Thank you, Teresa. I love that idea. Thank you, Nicole. I love the apron, too. Um, you and your team rock. Val, Tan, my team is amazing, and they are. I am so blessed and so thankful to have them. Um, you needed these. I'm so glad. Amber, that means so much. You, Maria says she found us during the beginning of the pandemic, three years. You know, we started right in the pandemic pandemic is when we started making physical products, which was not the best time to create an e-commerce business. I would not recommend starting, except there was good and bad about it for sure. So it worked out. Um, Veronica says she loves your products and your lives have been so much easier. Keep doing your doing. Thank you so much, Ashley. I just hope um, more than anything, guys, I hope you know 
the heart behind our products. And I don't often tell the backstory of like growing up. I just lived in a very different world than I get to live in now. And you, especially you single moms, not that any other, like it's being a mom is hard no matter what. You single mamas, bless you. You have a lot on your plate. And so I hope that something we do here can make your life easier. I hope we can help you save money. I hope we can help you be a better economist. I just want to give you the easiest button. If it were up to me, I would like, stick a bunch of Stouffer, of these in a Stouffer's box. And like, if I could, I would literally pop Stouffer's boxes of healthy food into your cabinet. Like that's what I want to be able to do for you. I can't do that. Um, it's not cost effective. It would be bad. It would not be, it would be processed. It's not what you want. So if I can make it as easy, like I'm always thinking like what, what piece between making dinner and having a tidy house and the mess that they might be feeling before, what's the missing piece and what can I do to like hack those pieces to make it easier for you? So have you thought about an air fryer? We have talked about an air fryer. We do have air fryer recipes in the side stitches if you need those. You bought when you first started and shipped from your basement. I watched a video of us doing that. It's crazy to me that we did that. Kelly says she's been following for years and all the products. So I'm so glad to hear that. That means so, so much to me. Y'all, truly, I am so thankful for each of you guys. You guys have an amazing day. Make dinner. Jaree says her mama was a single mama and our grandmother played a huge role in our lives. You pray and bless and teach your grandkids like she taught us. I love that. So sweet hearing that. Um, okay, most kid friendly box would be the five ingredient box. I would say probably five ingredients. My family geeks out over the freezer meals. So if you're looking for one that like your families are just going to love, freezer meals are great. Um, thank you so much, Susan. You said thank you for sharing. Um, such a sweet comment, Sharon. She said, thank you for sharing your beautiful story. You would be the person you are had you not gone through. I, it's so funny. And this is true. How many of y'all have, give me a harder like if you've got something through something hard in your life. Give me a harder like if that's you. If you're like, you know what? I've had a hard thing. So often as I watch my children, we have shielded them from a lot of hard things. Um, just because like I was on a mission <laughs> to not put my kids through necessarily a lot of things that there's a lot more that I'm not going to tell the story. Y'all don't need to hear all the crud, but just let's say this mama has gone through some crud in her life, probably just like you. But there are so many times, and how can I say this in the most generous way? This is just a long day, y'all. We're just going to chat today. Um, I love my husband dearly. Um, he had the sweetest parents. The, they, they were not the sweetest. They were not perfect. But they genuinely were good people. They were good, good, good people. And he had a much more traditional childhood. And every once in a while I'll say to him, because he knows the full story of all the crud that went on to get to this. And I'm like, is my story unique? And he's like, yeah, your story is weird. Most people didn't get, the, get from there. But I am so the perspective for those of you who are going through a hard time today or who you're watching your kids go through a hard time the perspective you gain in those difficult seasons is like no other. I, every single day, look around my house and look at my crock pot and look at my kitchen and I think, oh my gosh, God, how did I get so lucky? How did I get so lucky? And so those hard things that are difficult bring such perspective. And I will say one of our kids has had a harder way to go than our other two. And watching that one succeed, she looks at life differently. I remember being so sad watching her as a young child. If any of you guys have little kids who are going through something difficult, whether it be any kind of special needs or um, anything hard, I remember going through that with her and thinking, Lord, how? Like, we cannot do this. And I look at her now and she is, well, she didn't say she, that child is a rock star. And all three of them are rock stars. But the other two have had to go through difficult seasons at different times. And so I just encourage you, if you're in the yucky, crappy, muddy, nasty awfulness today, if you're in that like, I want to get out of this today, if that's the space you're in today, please consider that God has you in that season to like, you don't even know. You don't even know what's coming. If anyone had told me when I was in the muck and the crappy, crappiness that this would be my life, that I'd be sitting here helping, you know, like... I don't know, we've had like hundreds of thousands of people buy our stuff and I'm just like, who the funk? <laughs> you know, who gets to do that? So you don't know what God is signing you up for and what you're learning today. So be encouraged, y'all. Um, anyways, let's see. Candace says, bless you. She, I was a single mom with four children. It was rough and you lost your seven four years ago. Oh, Candace. 
Bless you, Candace. I cannot even imagine what that has to be like. I am so, so sorry. I, you are a rock star and I'm praying just for constant peace and comfort for you for sure. Um, it is so hard. Um, he has a plan for us all. Thank you so much, Cindy, for your kind words. Okay, y'all, I talked way too long today. Um, write a book. Look, I am never writing a book because I don't have time to write a book. Um, but I will write planners. I don't think anyone would read it all. It's just, it's, it's a crazy story, but it is a fun story. And I love that I get to live in it each day. And I know you have something special that you're getting to live in today. That's unique to you. Be the best you can be today. Make your dinner. I'm going to shine my sink and deal with my quinoa. <laughs> which I'm super excited about. We all get to do that. Um, somebody says, Linda says it's so hard for young couples now with the economy and your boxes have helped. I'm so glad. Yes. Oh, Teresa's in the building phase and you need to hear that. Teresa, this is what, so you know, I've been doing this since 2009. I worked three years and I didn't make a penny. Okay. Three years, no money. <laughs> so the building phase can be stinky. Hang in there. You can do this. You would read your book. Thank you so much. Oh, Lisa, when you guys order our products and when you say stuff in the Facebook groups, I, every once in a while, just the other day, I got a message from somebody and I had had such a bad day and I was like, Lord, what on earth? Like, I do not belong here. Like, I don't have a business degree. I'm just a mama who likes to make dinner and just want to, I just want to help some people. And why did I get stuck in this? And I was, um, just having a rough morning. And somebody messaged me just privately and just said the kindest words and spoke the kindest words over me. So you guys are the reason I keep standing up each day and like making these stupid dinners and <laughs> questioning what on earth I'm doing. But um, there are days that it's hard, but I think we all have that. You had a rough childhood and so thankful. Uh, Esther had a rough childhood, thankful our lives and our spouse is longer than our childhood. Got to go through some hard times, Diane says, to appreciate the good stuff. So very true. Um, to, uh, let's see. Let me check the other questions. I think we got through all the comments and questions. There was a lot here today, y'all. I did not mean to talk so, so, so long. Um, thank you so much, Alice, for saying you were blessed by me sharing. Y'all let us know if you make something in the crock pot today. I'm thinking I might make this for lunch just to test it out and then we'll see how it goes. Y'all have a beautiful day. Make your dinner, shine your sink. We'll talk soon. Bye guys.